Have you looked in the mirror recently and thought to yourself, wow, what's going on with my sex drive? Why am I having erectile dysfunction? Why am I losing weight? Why am I not as strong as I used to be? You might have low testosterone or male hypogonadism. I'm Dr. Dwayne Wood from Diabetes and Endocrine Wellness Center and The Light Away in Huntsville, Alabama. That's what we're going to talk about in this episode. Let's get started. Welcome back everyone to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about low testosterone or male hypogonadism. It is a problem that we are seeing and discussing more because more people are willing to have conversations about the difficulties they're having in their sex lives. Things like decreased libido or sex drive, erectile dysfunction. There's talking more about the fact that their muscle mass is decreasing and they want to know why. Testosterone is considered the male sex hormone, not because women don't produce testosterone, but because in men, the testosterone levels are much higher and testosterone in the male is responsible for a lot of their sexual characteristics. Let's start with development. So in the womb, if a baby does not have enough testosterone, then that baby can be born with ambiguous genitalia, that is genitalia that does not look either male or female. That male baby can actually be born with female external genitalia, or that baby can be born with genitalia that's male anatomy that is decreased in size and or misshapen. Testosterone is produced in the testicles in men and in the ovaries in women. And as we indicated before, is responsible for guiding a lot of the developmental phases of the male anatomy. In puberty, boys develop muscle mass, their voice gets lowered, and they begin to grow. And if they don't have enough testosterone, then all of those phases of their development can be uh, delayed, can be stunted, and they can develop other characteristics of low testosterone, such as gynecomastia, which is breast development. And then, of course, in the adult male, decreased testosterone can be responsible for decreased sex drive, libido, decreased muscle mass, decreased bone mass, and decreased general strength. There are several things that can cause low testosterone. As we indicated, it can be congenital, that is someone is born with it. There are some disease processes that can cause low testosterone if it's not congenital, such as uh, orchitis or mumps orchitis, that's inflammation of the testicles due to mumps, and so that decreases the production of testosterone. Some other diseases, such as hemochromatosis, sarcoidosis, uh, some genetic diseases such as Kleinfelter's or Kalman can cause low testosterone. And then some medical treatment can also cause that. So things like chemotherapy can also cause low testosterone. How is low testosterone diagnosed? First of all, like any other medical condition, low testosterone is diagnosed by discussing symptoms and a physical exam with a provider. So if you are having problems, once again, don't suffer in silence. Talk to your healthcare provider about it, and they will do an exam. They will discuss your history. They will probably do some blood work because there are several things that we need to check in the diagnosis of low testosterone. The good news is, like many other medical conditions, low testosterone can be treated. So our challenge to you for this video is if you're having symptoms, fatigue, decreased muscle mass, decreased libido or sex drive, erectile dysfunction, talk to your health care provider. In our next video, we're going to talk about the treatment of low testosterone. So we hope to see you there. Hey, if this video has been educational for you, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, hit the bell, like us and share this video. We are trying to build a community 
that is educational and that is supportive of each other. If you've had issues with low testosterone, you know someone that's had issues with low testosterone, go ahead and drop us a comment. If they have not seen this, send it to someone that you're thinking about right now uh, so that they can have this information as well. And then come back for the next video where we'll talk about the treatment of low T. This is Dr. Dwayne Wood from Diabetes and Endocrine Wellness Center and the Light Away, educating the public for a better you.